one. We are just targeting Metasploitable and looking for its open ports. This uses the minus open parameter, so it shows all open ports quickly to the ethical hacker. As we can see, this shows all the ports, but only the open one specifically. Useful information for sure, but if we are going to be an effective pen tester, we need a lot more information than this. This is where the NSE, Nmap scripting engine comes into play. Details for this can be found at nmap.org. A list of the scripts are shown here, and these can be used to target specific aspects of a device. A list of the scripts are available in the scripts folder on Kali Linux. It is from here that the scripts are used to target during a scan. For this specific tutorial, we are going to target a device with every single script using the Vuln parameter. Once this command is run, we are able to obtain pretty much everything about that device in terms of vulnerability scanning. But also, the information from the scan, which will be shown shortly, is absolute gold to a pen tester. Use the double forward arrow to output the Nmap results to an external file. The nmap-vuln file is the result of the nmap scan and can now be used to gather information about metasploitable vulnerabilities. A quick look at the contents using CAT, and you can see there is a great deal of info here, such as vulnerabilities and CVE numbers. Common vulnerabilities and exploits. This part of the video is for showing good housekeeping. Part of being an effective pen tester stroke ethical hacker is archiving and report writing. We are going to take the results from the scan, so that we can visit a variety of online websites that show all of the related information about CVEs. The pages will show information about vulnerabilities, potential exploits and finally, details about how to patch or what update resolve the issue. Here is the Tenable website, which has a search area for CVE numbers. It shows the VSFTPD critical vulnerability taken from the scan. Clicking on the security tracker link shows the details of the vulnerability and the OS that it was fixed in. The final part of this video is archiving your scans as part of good housekeeping and report writing for clients. For this, I am going to use an application called Cherry Tree on Kali Linux as it has a good layout and you can have a tree and subtree for specific details of your scans. Where I have a main category, Kali Linux, there is a branch I can create that is specific to my Nmap script's results. You can of course create the reports how you want, whatever suits you. But Cherry Tree is an excellent application and very useful for storing information for later retrieval. Once the scan results are placed here, I can call upon them at a later date, if it is required for report writing or presenting to a client. Thanks once again to the G-Man channel for an easy to follow tutorial. Like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you again.